Okay. We got my safety goggles on. Here we go. You know what? I, 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 as they cut this one down, I always love going to the oh! strip. <laughs> Duke! Duke, that are you was okay? So dangerous. I got you, Duke. I had it land on you. Running. <laughs> hey, by the way, the chainsaw is still running, Mallory. <laughs> I know. I just, I just let it go. I don't even know, Duke. I'm sorry. I let it land on you. <laughs> Mallory, were you? Now that's called getting thrown under the bus. Well, you know what? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Well, there's my well, tree, you guys. Isn't that a nice, beautiful tree? Good thing it's a nice, you know, petite tree. <laughs> Duke, are you are you okay? Did I hurt you? No, I'm uh, I'm fine. <laughs> he just knocked his gourd off. <laughs> I thought, he said, make sure it falls to the other side. So I was pushing, and obviously, I didn't push the right way there. <laughs> Well, snowman is making the up some eggs. Now let me ask you another way. How has he got me do his work over there? Now do you, do you know this guy over here? This is Drummond from the North. Yeah. Now Drummond grew up in Logan Square. And Drummond, you said, uh, what did you know about this house growing up? Um, kids from all over the neighborhood come here. It's something pretty special. It's, and during the winter, Christmas time, it's, it's all lit up. It's people come from all over there. But see it. Did you know anything about Frank before today? No, I always wanted to come inside the house and see what it was like. And it's so this is like I mean this is like meeting an idol of yours, really. <laughs> Somewhat. You want to get up and give him a hug? Yeah, thank you. Get up and give him a thank you hug after all these years. This is what we do on WGM Morning News. We bring viewers together. We bring families together. Jesse, get over here. Let's have a, come on. Let's have a group hug. This is what we do. We got Frank, we got Drummond and Jesse from Menards. We got Santa, we got Frosty. We got eggs that have been left over from last night that Frank's nephew cooked and never cleaned up. A child asked for a particular toy that, no matter what the toy, I do not promise you know what they're gonna get. Uh, but I do indicate that they're going to get some surprises, and kids like surprises, so that usually encourages them. Give Santa some of the burden. You know, if the kid says, Santa, I want a Maserati, let Santa be the one to say, no, you get a Yugo, and be happy about it. Stop, happy, stop, glad tidings, stop, everybody. Stop trying to convince your kids that Santa is Santa. That's my, that my take is, forget about it. That's why they have these high expectations. They know you can't afford it. They're going to just ask some man in a red suit. There is no Santa. No, no, but if a little kid will, will think, well, Santa will get me whatever I want. As soon as they can talk, there's no Santa. Hey, Ebenezer, what's no, with you? No, no, I still do gifts, but it's from, it's not from Santa. So your, li your little kids, Santa you Santa's a symbol of the generosity of the season. You go sit in his lap, we'll take a picture. But there, you, you he's not what? coming down the chimney, he's not eating those cookies, he's not bringing you anything. Uh, you, 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 next week, you come up to the office, I'll show you Polar Express. you got to believe. Oh, don't yeah. stop believing. Okay, okay. Let's get to Lou Canellis uh, making his sports list and checking it twice. Robin, don't ruin it for me. I'm asking Santa <laughs> for a Maserati. <laughs> So let's dump the graphic, everybody. Okay. Take a look at me, Kevin. You can go ahead and narrate it if you like. Okay. Well, very good, guys. So here you go. You can see that uh, the tree getting ready to get lit here. Big tree. Check it out. Mayor Tom Carlson's going to flip the switch. Christine's right there. Very good. Waiting for it to light. Here we go. I'm ready. We're ready to see it. One, two, three. Light that tree. <laughs> Move that bus. Move that bus. <laughs> Light that tree. That, that was Lift a practice. That one. I'm told I'm told that was a practice one, guys. <laughs> hey, signs are tough everywhere. <laughs> they forgot to pay the light bill, I, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> this is live television at its best right here. You have to love it. you got to love it. Uh, yeah, can somebody call Clark W. Griswold? We yeah. need some help. We're going to have to get uh, Lighty up there in the tree. Can you check the bulbs at the very top, Kevin? <laughs> very top. Got a little knot here. Oh, wait. oh here we go. Try number two. Okay. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Let's do this again. Two. Three. Light that tree. <laughs> and they found the switch. <laughs> okay, carry on, Kevin. Thank you. New Center 16's Joshua Short is inside the UP Mall, where the doors will be opening in just under an hour from now. Josh, how are things going? Well, you know what, Alex? I thought I was going to be inside, and apparently I'm stuck outside because security reasons and all that other rigmarole. Look, let's just look behind me. You see the long lines of people out here at 
5.45 or so. I, look, I, we were expecting a big crowd. We don't have the big crowd that we expected. I got up at 3 o'clock excited to do my first ever Black Friday and ain't nobody here. I am literally upset right now. I don't know why people did not wake up. They had too much food. I don't know what the deal is. You got cars coming through, but they're stuck right now in their cars. Nobody's coming out. Yeah, they open their doors at 6 o'clock, but I'm really upset right now. We don't have anybody out here. We got another news crew that I'm not going to name. She's out here. So at the moment, I'm going to send it back to y'all because ain't nobody here. I'm going back home. I'm going back to my bed and I'm going to sleep. Alex, we send it back to you at South Bend. <laughs> Oh, Josh, I feel bad for you. David says that you're on the wrong side of the mall. So maybe maybe that's what it is. You just got to go to the other side of the mall and, and that's where the line is. You know what? I go to the other side of the mall and I'm going to see another line of cars and nobody's going to be getting out of those cars <laughs> because it's almost 30 degrees. You know what? I, I, I'm just... <laughs> oh, Josh is gone. We lost Josh. All right. Joshua Short reporting live. Uh, at the uh, a little bit of a disappointing start to Black Friday, but don't worry, Josh. We'll uh, we'll come back to you, and I'm sure I'm sure there will be some people there for you.